The pick is in. The Houston Texans have made a selection in the 2024 NFL Draft alongside Locked On College Football host Spencer McLaughlin. I'm Denise Batiste, and we are joined by John Hickman of Locked On Texans to break down the Texans selecting Blake Fisher with the number 59 pick. So, John, what did you think about picking the offensive tackle out of Notre Dame at 59? I was completely shocked. I was thrown off by it. Um, the first time I came on, I talked about how Kamari Lasseter, I believe, was a position of need for this team. Uh, the total opposite for Blake Fisher. Uh, you look at Larry Tunsil, Titus Howard, all your two tackles. I thought Houston would address the offensive line, but later in the draft, I thought pick 50, uh, 59 would have been a pick of need, linebacker, safety, the, the mm. two positions that this team desperately needs. And so when I saw Blake Fisher name pop up for the Houston Texans, I didn't know what to think, right? Right tackle played for uh, Notre Dame, of course. He's played right tackle his entire career in college. So, you know, the immediate conversation is, will he go over to left side, the left guard? That's a position that a lot of people want to see Houston make sure that, that they've solidified. Uh, mm -hmm. Titus is still at right tackle. Will there be a camp battle there? Charlie Heck is already the swing tackle here in Houston. So I'm not 100% sure what the direction is for that. But I will say this. This is a team that struggled to run the ball last year, the last couple of seasons. Yeah. As good of a pass blocker Titus Howard has been when he's been healthy and at right tackle, his career has been up and down. He is not the most effective run blocker. This is a team that has stressed over the last couple of seasons, but specifically since the arrival of D'Amico Ryans and Bobby Slurk, how much they want to run the ball. And so the only way I can make sense of this mm -hmm. is D'Amico saying, hey, thank you for your, your, your time and effort here, but hey, Nick, I didn't draft him. And I have a different expectation for my offensive line and it may not include Titus Howard moving forward. He just signed his contract extension last year. He helped Houston out a lot this uh, past offseason a couple of weeks ago, uh, restructuring his contract so they can get Stephon Diggs. So, you know, a team player. But overall, I do question whether or not Titus Howard has a long life here in Houston moving forward. I'm shocked by this, by this decision to, uh, to drive Blake Fisher. Interesting. For more on the Texans, subscribe to Locked On Texans on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast. Spencer, was this pick shocking for you too for the Texans? It, it felt like it might have been a little early for Fisher based on his draft grades. You know, he, he's got the prototypical size at, at tackle. He doesn't have the high-end tape. I mean, if you told the Texans before the draft, you're getting a tackle from Notre Dame, they would have gone... We're trading up to get Joe Alt. What are we giving up? What's going on here? But that's not what's happening here. You know, Fisher needs to improve in pass protection. When you have CJ Stroud at quarterback, yeah. that's something you better be able to fix really quickly and adapt to the NFL game. So certainly a, a surprising move here for the Texans. It's not like Fisher can't be a good player, but he did not have – a 2023 season according to pro football focus that that blows you away and i don't think he was necessarily blowing anybody away in the the pre-draft process either so a little bit of a surprise here i don't think it's a massive reach I, I think it might be a slight reach for continuing coverage of the 2024 nfl draft subscribe to locked on nfl on youtube or wherever you get your podcasts part of the locked on podcast network your team every day